Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Robert on Earth. This is a game by Remrofsnart, I think that's how you say it. And it's all about a robot uh, trying to survive and farm in what looks like a fairly post-apocalyptic world. So let's get in there and have a look. It's a very brown looking world. Is this us? <gasps> We're in a capsule! I love the art in this, it's amazing. Hello? Are you Robert? Oh, he's so cute. Hello. All right, very slow. Wow. Don't run very fast, robot. Okay. Uh, I guess this is our battery power. And we go down here? Okay. So control movement with joystick or keyboard direction keys. So we're doing keyboard direction keys today. Uh, hold down controllers, right... Okay, shift to run. Come run. Uh, but we've got to be energy conscious. Accelerate energy consumption. So you, I imagine it runs our battery down. Gear flowers. So press keyboard E to open chest and interact. E keyboard F on controller Y to open the menu. F for menu, E to interact. Okay. Tab to close the menu. Okay. Why F to open and tab to close? Okay. Tab doesn't open, but F opens and closes. So that's, that's okay. I'll, I'll try and remember that. Every different game has a different button for opening the menu, I swear. Can we just not all do tab? <laughs> It'd be so much easier. Right, anyway. Let's open the chest. We got some Harley grass. Lovely. Go up the ladder and pay attention to energy reserves on the right side. Depletion will lead to game over. Okay. We do not want game over. Oh, there is a chest here. Let's get it. Energy battery. We have a spare battery. Open the menu and you can use the mouse or long press controller A to drag some available items to the right equipment grid to exert their effects, including functional items, chips, data, hard drives, batteries, etc. Okay, so menu. I can drag the energy battery in there, I imagine. And it will top up my energy battery. It looks like we have like a water tank as well. So maybe we can drag water and that will fill the water up as well. For 500 credits by the looks of it. Lots of things I don't know about. Lots of things I don't know about. And other stuff. Lovely. We have a friend up here. I hope it's a friend. Hello, friend. Farm steward. Oh, okay, you finally woke up. You've been dormant for a long time, and I've been ordered to wait here for a long time. I know you have many unresolved doubts now. Please don't worry, Mr. Robert. Take it slow. Well, first allow me to introduce myself. I'm your steward and guide. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have a name like you do. Outside this cave is a large underground farm where I've been arranged to receive and assist the new owner of the farm. That's you, Mr. Robert. I know that you've lost the majority of your memory units due to prolonged sleep. I'm sorry, but due to unknown reasons, a lot of stored memory has also been deleted on my end. I can only act according to the rules of the farm and give you as much help as I can. Anyway, I'm glad you came safely to take over the farm. To get to the point, Mr. Robert, the intelligent drones needed for agricultural production are placed on the ladder. By the way, I hope you can learn the basic steps of cultivation, sowing and irrigation. I will wait here. Okay. 
Oh, take care. This is our new quest. Said that they're on the ladder. Do I need to go this way? Uh, can't go that way, apparently. It's telling me to go up. Oh, there we are. Is this containing our drones, our farming drones? Oh dear, I nearly knocked him over. Hello, little drone. How are you doing? I have a drone with me now. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else that I can press E on or anything like that, so I guess I guess well this is us then. Right, in the cultivatable area, press E to cultivate and open the seed menu. Select the seed and press left left click to sow it. Uh tab can close the menu. Okay. Are we getting towards the cultivatable area now? Some water. Okay, press E at the already sown crop to open the crop status menu where you can select watering and harvesting. Uh, okay. Only crops have been watered daily can achieve perfect quality and output special products. Okay. Cultivatable first class soil. I can dig here. Right, nice. I can put a seed in, a gear flower seed. Then I can go into the menu and water it. Okay, and this one we can put in another gear flower seed. And then we can... That looks like... That looks like harvest and that looks like uh, destroy, I think. So... That's what I'm guessing. There's a third one. Water it. Can I? Can I quite? Can I do any anything more here? No. Okay. That was as much as I could do. So, uh, press keyboard to E or control as A at the already sown crop to open the crop status menu. You can choose to remove the crop at the bottom left button to recycle the seed. So, that's exactly what I thought it was, and that's probably a harvest button. Two days to harvest. After maturity, metal gears may grow as flowers in crops, and when they grow well, they may produce more than one gear. Lovely. We're supposed to go back down, are we? Open the menu, you can see. Oh no, we've done all of this. So maybe we need to go speak to this guy again. Well, it's, okay, it's been a long time since I last saw this cute little flying machine. Take it easy, Mr. Robert. You'll definitely be able to retrieve your own memories in the future. But now let's work together to manage this farm well. It's the primary prerequisite. After all, this is already an era of resource scarcity. This farm is an important presence for everyone nearby and I look forward to working with you, Mr. Robert. The red container house with the water tank outside is the residence that has been prepared for you. There's a bed on the second floor. I suggest you take a nap first to replenish energy and storage and store your progress, I guess. Uh, this is a this I believe has been I think looking at it. There was some possibly Chinese Japanese looking uh, letters on the title of this, and so I think it has been um, localized into English as a second language. So this is the key to the exit. I will stay near the house after I go out. 
cave exit key. Am I allowed to go through here now? Yes, I see. I press keyboard E by the bedside to sleep. The game will store and restore all of the character. Okay, I assume that our house is through here then. Said something about... Pay attention to the capacity of the water tank. Over capacity, water injection will be di directly discharged. Okay. Hey, Mr. Robert. After thinking for a long time, I still think it's better not to disturb you below, so it's better to stay here. Are you still used to living at home? There shouldn't be any problems at the farm either. Remember to pay attention to soil grading when farming. Different crops require different levels of soil. But now you only have access to the most common soil. Different crops may also have different functions, which can greatly improve your work efficiency. Provide daily irrigation for crops as much as possible to achieve perfect yields. But if plants are not watered, they can also grow normally. So don't force yourself too hard every day, Mr. Robert. I like this game. If the irrigation water storage on the farm bottoms out, remember to bring the water to the top of the nearby water tank to replenish it. Okay. The task version in the room can help you clarify your recent plans. If you've forgotten, please review it repeatedly. Don't overwork yourself. Use energy supplies appropriately to replenish energy. And if you feel your energy is low, just lie down at home and you'll be full of energy and save data. <laughs> you'll be full of energy and save data. I love it. I think this is my house. So let's go in and have a nap. So we have a board here. So this looks like it's our like quest board. Okay. Is this this is storage. Okay, I like that. Lots of storage. As you go up the ladder there. Okay. What's this? Some more Harley grass. Okay, I don't know what Harley grass is for, but we'll have a nap. Because we were told to, and hopefully that will replenish our battery. Because, you know, we die if we let it go down to zero. So. Probably the one thing that you want to look out for above all else. We have a basement. Oh, Not allowed to go in the basement. Maybe that comes later. All right then. We had a nap. I wonder if I should go and see. How's my battery down to that already? I only walked out of the house. Yes, I probably need to go in and water my crops. I'm sorry, Mr. Robert. It's not that I don't want to reveal my name. In fact, it's meaningless for us inorganic machinery to have names nowadays. It's just that your name is Robert in my file. Perhaps it has some meaning that others may not understand. Although lacking in memory verification, it's highly likely that this era is already different from the era before your dormancy. And now the world is facing a second energy crisis. The first, sorry, the early first energy crisis destroyed the so-called humanity. And this time, even our inorganic machinery cannot escape the threat. Please be careful. Energy depletion is a very scary thing. You may lose all unsafe progress as a result. Therefore, I suggest that you carry a certain amount of energy battery with you to avoid encountering energy depletion outside. At least carry some Harley grass with you for emergencies. Directly using Harley grass can also provide a small amount of energy. Okay, so we can recharge our batteries with Harley grass. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you find many sealed doors on the farm, perhaps you can come and ask me. The farm has set up several permissions, mostly for the purpose of taking responsibility for you and the farm itself. All right, let's go. Do you have more to say? Okay, on the right side of this farm, there is a town called Container Town. Although it's very decadent now, I think Mr. Robert will definitely be interested. I don't think they mean decadent. I think they maybe need dilapidated. Uh, if the farm could produce basic trading materials such as metal gears, then I will open up access to the town for you. Sure. I hope this can inspire you to run the farm well. All right then, I think our first job today then will be to go in. Uh, gosh, look how quickly that depletes our battery running like that. That's crazy. Uh, and I will go and plant my crops. I 
little tent there. That's cute. Not plant them, water them. But you use quite a lot of energy going to do this, interestingly. Oh, look, the gears are starting to sprout. Ah, oh, adorable. Let's try and get lots of gears if we can. But that's taken like half my battery. So I might have to take some days where I don't uh, do that. Oh man, no, I've gone the wrong way. I think we need to go... Yeah, we need to drop down the other side, don't we? I forgot that, sorry. Down we go. Oh gosh, is that used? I can see why the guy was saying, like, take it easy, Mr. Robert. Don't worry about it. walk and I'm not even running I'm walking let's see if we can find where container town is or at least find a few things along the way what's in here oh okay so that's just some storage for me is it I guess these look like my storages open air cultivatable cultivatable first class soil okay We have some Harley grass and we have some synthetic batteries, so. Figured that would be a bit safer. Container hat town ahead, traffic suspended. That's good. Uh, what's this? Right, so I can't get into Container Town. I thought I was meant to be exploring around Container Town. I also don't appear to be able to do anything with that soil. Oh, there's a ladder in there. I went over the top. Robert's Underground Farm. more cultivatable soil in here can't go that way okay oh there's a chest down here okay cool. yeah. more harley grass give me a little bit of extra time front radiation area I'm not allowed to go that way okay I don't really want to use my big battery unless I've really run out of energy. That's like emergency. I can definitely do some digging down here. Doesn't look like I'm allowed to go that way though. Why can I not get past that? Hmm, okay. I go back up the ladder and then I'll maybe have another little chat with my friend. And then probably need to go to sleep. So the days are super quick in this, the energy runs out super quick as well. As far as I know, the situation in that small town can be described as quite bad. Even if the farm can produce high quality gears. But Mr. Robert, it's hard to say what the town can bring you or what you can bring to the town. 
we need to try and work out how to get in there but i think we need a little bit more sleep sleep i think we managed our energy well today Game saved. I was a bit concerned for a second there. Oh, it's a windy day today, is it? I see. I went down too far. So we definitely need to be looking at Container Town again today. I'm not sure exactly what we've missed about that. I've done quite a bit of exploring. I think maybe not watering my seeds would be a good idea today because honestly the amount of energy that takes up is insane. It's like half a battery just to water your crops. Alright, so like I don't get it. Why can't I go in there? There's traffic suspended and I can't go in. I don't really want to be redoing the things I've done because it takes so much energy, but I don't really get what I need to do. I certainly can't get that way. All it's telling me is I can't go here, I can't go there. No, this is the radiation zone. I'm also not allowed there, okay. It's very slightly confusing and frustrating, but I guess it's a puzzle game. can't get past that. Why you can't get past that, I don't know. That looks like there's a pipe going down there, but I don't think I can do anything about that. So that is a little bit confusing, to say the least. Okay, well maybe I go back to my farm then and try and get the gears. It doesn't even say anything like, you need to do this, you need to do this to open things up, or you need this item, or anything like that. So I am very confused. I'll go more to the crops, just because it's something I can at least do. Are the gears harvestable now? Yes. Planting some more gear flowers. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Honestly, my fingers do not understand pressing F to close a menu. That's just... A, it's just not good times, is it? interested if there's anywhere else we can go down here it honestly doesn't look like it I 
honestly think it wants me to go to Gear Town. Hmm. Temporary suspension of access to Desert Mine ahead. So that's another locked door. I'm just trying to work out like where can I go, where can't I go. It seems our farm has officially opened and the gears it's grown are also of high quality. To be able to sell at a high price in the past. Now, there's not that much demand anymore. Well, Mr. Robert, let's go see Container Town. There we are. Ah, press F instead of E. Did you go to the basement of the house? Well, I know it's locked up there. There are expensive and rare important instruments stored there. Some of the data related to it has been entrusted to be placed in the grocery store in the container town. Mr. Robert, why not go and look for it? I'll find it. So trying to get into the basement, I think, I think what that means is if you want the basement, you need to go find some data about it in the grocery store in container town. Excuse me. Needed a sneeze. Right then. I think it's bedtime for me because I'm going to need some a lot more um, a lot more energy to go where I need to go. Even with the Harley grass and the spare battery. So let's go. Actually, I don't need to climb up there. It's a waste of energy. So now we should be allowed to go further into Container Town because we have grown our gears. I didn't realize that was a prerequisite. So we're going to need access cards to go to various different places and that's probably just to keep us more on track with things and so that we don't not know where things should be and things. Okay, so for the train station, last thing you need is to be looking in the wrong area. Town station, I can't go any further than that. Okay. Can't go that way either. So is this all we're allowed to look at then in Container Town? Where's the grocery store? Yeah, we've got this much that we're allowed to explore. Okay, is there any way we can go downwards? container town oh right okay you go down aha through there that is container farm town lovely and the farm is this way oh i see that goes back through to the farm right okay cool i'm getting it now i'm getting it there's another another robot oh oh hi hello hello uh i'm fine i just didn't expect anyone else to come and chat ha 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 after all, this small town is quite strange. It's the first time someone has come to talk to me here. Ha ah! ha Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm a traveller with no ultimate destination, and my dream is to travel to every place in the world. A few days ago, I came from a large mining pit in the west. I originally wanted to get some supplies and cross the desert, but this small town seems to be in a bit of a slump. Um, you shouldn't be a resident of the small town. Ha 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 ha! There's no other meaning. It's just a bit disappointing. 
The once prosperous container town now faces an energy crisis. Many residents have either been left here or are also struggling here. Oh, they've all either left or are struggling. Okay. But it said something useful has been left here and searching for treasures is not bad, right? Haha. <laughs> okay. I think I get your gist. Here's the grocery store and this is where we want to go. Um, hello, this is the grocery store in Container Town, the only legitimate sales under the supervision of Eternal City. Do you need anything? Original chip. Gear flower seeds. The original substrate used for chip synthesis, which can produce chips with various functions, has not been activated. I feel like I need that. Can I sell things to you? Like my gears. Like, how do I make money then? Well, there's a ladder going up here. Let's have a little look up top. Run chip blueprint. And a water cycle chip blueprint. Very well. Those seem to be the things I need. Is there anything showing me the quest log? No, I think that might only be on the board back in my ta in my home, so maybe I need to be a bit careful about remembering that. Hello. Oh, I'm um, that well. Although I just got to know you, I have a small request here. Um, I spent almost all my expenses and resources on the journey here. I originally planned to come to the small town to get some water first. But it seems that the water source in the small town is not very sufficient. Um, and I can't afford the price either. Uh, may I ask you if you can sell me three bottles of water at a slightly lower price? That's okay. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, thank you so much my friend. You're really great. Well, this is my last bit of savings. Uh, sorry it's a bit lacking. I'm really, really grateful to you. I got some money from him. Selling our last bits of water. I hope that we don't need... Oh, I've got 12 bottles still, so that's okay. But I think I'm going to now head back to the farm. Take a little bit of the grass again. That was a rather long journey. Probably going to need two, aren't we? This is so charming. This is such a charming little game, isn't it? Lovely. Well, have a bit of patience with it, though. Um... The ladder we go. Well, so you should have also received some synthetic data blueprints. We did. That's right, the basement contains an item synthesizer which is somewhat old but reliable and useful and is still a valuable asset of this farm to the day to this day, sorry. After receiving blueprint data, you can use that machine according to its synthetic formula. Mr. Robert, I strongly recommend you synthesize as many energy batteries as possible and carry them with you. This can ensure longer periods of outings or farm labor. The synthesis method of batteries should be hung up in the basement. This is the key to the basement. I hope this machine can be helpful to you, Mr. Robert. Basement key. Wonderful. I think we should sleep first, though. And we'll go check out the basement in the morning. Hopefully that'll keep us going a bit longer. 
one so we can make our own batteries. Right, we are allowed in the basement now. Woohoo, things are opening up. So this is our synthesizing machine. Very well. And it looks like a gear and a Harley grass makes a battery. Well, that would be much, much better than what we've done so far. So we've got two gears there. Make me a battery. Anything in this chest here? Pure water blueprint. Make another one because we can. I was surprised I only had one gear, uh, two gears though. I thought I had grown three. finish waiting doesn't it's, it's only moving around that does harm to your energy levels so you can wait as long as you want for things still nothing on that uh, quest board right, i guess we go back to the uh the underwater farming area i'll see how the gears are doing through there I don't think there's a lot of point in watering gears. I think it's better just to go and change them over. Because the amount of energy that you take going and watering them is probably better just to let them grow and harvest them. Then you've only got to you've only got to see them twice instead of like four or five times. Yeah, looks like they're all ready. Hmm. We'll plant them all back in again and water them. Or oh, we won't water them, actually. That's probably a waste of energy as well, isn't it? I water it, does that take energy? No, it doesn't. So I may as well water them the first day. But I don't think it makes any difference unless you water them every day. Okay, down we go. And I have slightly forgotten what we were doing in here. I had great intentions in here, didn't I? Did I just want to go get more gears to make more batteries? I think I might have done, actually. Okay, so let's go back down to the basement, make as many batteries as we can for those gears that we just got. And I'll be good for longer adventures. Right. no idea what to do with the hard drives yet but I should probably leave them alone until I know what I'm doing a little bit more Me 
some more chips. And he said make as many batteries as possible, so this is what I'm doing. I have about five, I think. So what I think I'll do is I'll take some Harley grass, because since I'm right by my bed, and go to bed. I think manufacturing might take a little bit of uh, energy. So once this is manufactured, I will take some Harley grass and that'll get me up the ladder to bed. I do wonder why a robot needs a cloak. I didn't want that. I don't want that. I need to get into my inventory. Take a little bit of Harley grass. I wonder if the grocer has Harley grass seeds. I should have checked that. Okay. Full battery. Let's go and chat to my robot friend up top. Why couldn't he just be in the house? Why do I have to climb a ladder to go see them? Alright, so I made the batteries, okay? Well, oh, Mr. Robert, I heard that the trading of goods in Container Town seems to be under control. That is to say, perhaps the farm cannot find a place to sell goods now. If you really haven't found a place to sell products, I received a message from sources that there's a smuggler in, in the small town. If necessary, you can go to the alleys in the centre of the town and ask the residents in the eastern part of the town. Okay, go to the alleys and to the eastern part of town. I hope I can help you, Mr. Robert. Of course, if you have found a way, just pretend that I haven't mentioned it. Okay. The relationship with the container town has broken down. Mr. Robert has also been to the town before. To prevent potential conflicts of interest, I suggest that we first don't think about heading towards the mine. If you're treated as a mine by the group of people in the town, your safety may not be guaranteed. I'm sorry, I need to take responsibility for you. I'll get their trust. Trust from the town. Well, this may work. How to establish a good relationship with the small town depends on you, Mr. Robert. Okay, so I think the idea is we don't go to the mining town because the mining town and the container town fight. And they, do, they don't want to see me as a... As a, like, as an enemy. That's what I believe is the case. But this all needs to be rewritten, I think, before it uh, releases. It's so charming, so I really I really want to love it, but it's hard to understand sometimes. So grace groceries minus eighty percent. Wow, I like that. Um, hello, this is the grocery store. Okay, do I need anything? Steam grass. Harley grass. Oh, right. You'll sell us Harley grass for 15. But the gear flower seeds, we can get more of them. Good to know. So seeds are free. And zero. Okay, that's as many as we're allowed. That's fine. Um, why do I now only have 35? <gasps> that was 300? Oh no. Why does it say zero down? Ah, that's so annoying. If I'm gonna, oh, that, I hope I haven't messed myself up completely with that. Ouch. 
Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. We'll see. I was just carefully holding on to that money, hope, you know, hoping for the best. Are you the smuggler? You look awful like a smuggler. Town, town stranger. Mm-hmm. Strange. There'll be new people coming to the small town. Is there anything else worth outsiders coming to this rundown place? Or are you just traveling like the guy below? I don't understand why you'd come to such a rundown place. Alright. Fine. Can I go in there? No. Anything up here? Gotta explore, right? Yes. Hi. Desperate tramp. I don't want to. Shut down in... Waste. Wonderful. Just what I wanted. Who are you? Forget about it. Take what you want and leave. It looks like there's a ladder under there, but I don't know how to get to it. Whoa. Oh, cool. That's how you get to this box here. And I got a free steam grass seed from that. Nice. Maybe I could sell the steam grass and it would help. Alright, so I need to try and find my way to the alleys. So let's just keep going along and see if we can find them. What's this place then? The bar? Okay. Found a Harley wine blueprint. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, hey, hey. A rare new face, let me guess. Hmm. Are you a traveler, a newcomer who moved in, or a spy sent by those bastards from Eternal City? Hmm, whatever. There's no possibility to be the uh, to be the new owner of the Western Farm, right? It's not possible you're the new owner of the Western Farm, right? There you go, fixed it for you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Haha, <laughs> we're all glad that farm is reopened. Well, welcome to Container Town, and also welcome to my bar. Hmm? Just barely call it Container Town Bar. Although life here isn't easy for me, it's indeed the only place in this town that has a bit of cheerful atmosphere. You see, at night there's even a flashy guy singing outside my bar. But everyone doesn't really want to see his performance anymore, so I advised him to come in and sit down. But he has too many things to come in. However, even if he comes in, you can only take a rest rather than order wine, and you're the same. Ah, uh, there's nothing else to it. Even if this town is in dire straits, it's still under the control of those powerful elements in Eternal City, and trade is completely and firmly controlled. I really have no way to sell things to people outside of town residents. Um, come on, another glass. Keep the account on credit. Hello, a new guy. You're not from a small town, are you? The bar owner can't sell your wine. If you want your wine, it's best to go somewhere else. This place has been controlled by Eternal City to the east, and various transactions have been blocked. You may want to go to the mayor for more details. After walking eastward for a while, the high water tower is the mayor's house. Thank you. Good to know. Uh, actually, can I go up that ladder at all? No. Okay. It looks like there's a whole, like, bit of town that I don't know about. A whole shady bit of town. You look like a guard. City soldier, you're not from the town. I'm not mistaken, am I? This is not the place. Sorry, now the place under... This place is now under Eternal City's control. Remember, prohibiting transactions outside of permission. Did you hear that? I'll keep monitoring you. May the Eternal City endure forever. Okay, I think that means they're keeping an eye on us to make sure we don't do any trading. For you. Oh, hello. Mm, I just came out for a ride. If you're looking for the mayor, he's always on the water tower to the east. Oh, by the way, don't go down the alley surrounded by a bunch of containers. It's said that strange people often come and go there. That's exactly where I want to go. I need to sell things down because I stupidly bought seeds that I didn't need to buy. In just the alleyway. Secret alley. Alright, I need to top up my energy. up about, about half a battery's worth. Y02. Ali secret message data. Hang on a second. So we've got Z3 X0 Z3 Y2. Why do I think that's a combination I'm going to need?
Doesn't help much. I can't really interact with anything or do anything. I'm super confused. I was supposed to come down here and find a trader. I come down here and find a weird puzzle that I can't do. Um... It's not a point and click, so why am I clicking? Absolutely no idea, so probably my best bet right now. Just keep exploring. Hello, are you new here or just a passing traveller? Wait, I didn't actually lock the door. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Nice to meet you, but this small town's almost finished. Maybe there's nothing interesting for you anymore. The town's energy resources reserves have bottomed out. Everyone's struggling to survive. I hope to leave with my son, but I don't know where to go. Oh, by the way, I forgot to introduce my son. He's over there. I really hope he can be born in a better era. I used to work as a miner in the large mines of the West, but I stopped working long ago. I had planned to live a good life with my son through savings, but bad luck. to the sun then cute little guy everyone says that the owner uncle of that bar is a bad person but i really like the bar uncle everyone said that uncle is still wasting grass making wine until now but everyone keeps asking for uncle's wine also scolding uncle for providing bad wine uh, only i saw uncle pouring ha ha grass from uncle's own warehouse into the town's granary uncle doesn't want everyone to be hungry he's a good person i like bar uncle but i prefer daddy Aww. You're a very cute, cute little guy. Ooh. Down to four batteries now. This is why I want to do, try and do as much as I can here while I can. Contact the mayor, please move upstairs. Hey, Mayor. Hello, you should be the owner of the farm on the west side. That farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'm the mayor of Container Town. I heard the farm over there had reopened. I didn't expect you to be such a vibrant young person. Unfortunately, this small town lacks any vitality. <laughs> the small town is now under the supervision of the group of people in Etern Eternal City to the east, strictly blocking trade. And it's forcing a serious energy and resource crisis. I guess we can't make it through anymore. I can tell you the whole story of this matter. Our small town, Container Town, is named after the tradition of using discarded containers as houses. For a long time, we've been in cooperative relationship with the self-proclaimed superior Eternal City in the East. But that city was still thriving. It's said to be cooperative development, but in fact, it serves as a transit and supervision for the large mining pit in the west western desert. The energy and materials required for the construction of Eternal City basically all come from there. The energy crisis in small towns actually shows uh, at that time, but we didn't realise because of the supply of the mines and the pay of Eternal City. Alright, so they kind of saw it, to just paraphrase that, they saw it coming, but they sort of were making so much money from the mines and the passing trade through from Eternal City that they didn't really notice how things were de deteriorating. And so one sudden day, the bottom of the mine suddenly collapsed. No warning, no sign. The reason for the collapse is still a huge mystery, but just the reason is no longer important. This event delayed or temporarily suspended the supply progress of Eternal City, and Eternal City immediately launched a con tracked threat against the town. The small town had to allocate its local energy reserves and existing materials to supply Eternal City according to the contract. The resources of the mine seemed to be infinite, but Container Town is not. In the blink of an eye, the energy crisis in the small town was highlighted, and the supply to Eternal City had to be interrupted. For some reason, the mine didn't want to cooperate with us anymore, so the town was forced to sign a new contract with Eternal City. Regulatory power is fully controlled in the hands of Eternal City. I thought, they'll give us a hand after gaining power, but I didn't expect. They're just getting worse, continuing to close trade. You want to kill us, but why? Hmm. The inventory of energy resources in the town is about to bottom out. Although some people are secretly supporting us, it's still a drop in the bucket. 
can't make it through anymore. Um, did you want to give me a quest then? Anyway, that farm's been put back into use again. I'm really happy about it. It's rare to see a natural farm. Speaking of which, you've planted Harley grass on the farm after all. It's the mainstream energy crop now. As the mayor, I earnestly request that you provide us with a batch of Harley grass for emergency assistance. We may need 50 servings of har Harley grass to get through it, my calm farmer. I'm willing to serve, but I need to get Harley grass seeds. Or could I have just planted the Harley grass straight up? I don't know, and I haven't got any left. Oh, I've got one left. Uh, okay, worth a try. I didn't see any Harley grass seeds, and I haven't so far. So unless you can straight up plant the Harley grass. And if you can, I'm going to need a, a bit of time to raise it up. No tricks. I'll keep monitoring you. May the Eternal City endure forever. I think now... Oh, here's the guy with the music guy. Wandering musician. Hmm. La, 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 la. Hmm. Hello, hello. Wow, you're the only one in this strange town willing to watch me perform. Hope you like it. I'm a wandering musician who performs at night. I used to perform in Eternal City in the East, and later I came to this small town. It's just that everyone here doesn't seem to have as much interest in enjoying my music. The train back to Eternal City is no longer running, and my current situation is quite awkward. Yeah, I feel like I need to go back and try planting Harley grass. I need it for my own batteries and I'm going to start needing it for quests as well. Although, whether in half an hour I'm going to be able to get 50 of them, I think that's uh, probably a bit of a tall order. I'm hoping I can get home before I run out of battery. No, I won't need to take another one. Fingers crossed. Oof. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I've just got to get up the ladder to my bed. I think I'll be okay. Ah, good night, Robert. Game saved. It auto saves every day, so if you do run out of battery, you just got to restart the day. It's not like the end end of the world. Anything on the board? Prove to the steward that you've gained the trust of the town. I have no doubt that I'll get the trust of the town once I get the, all the Harley. Yeah, all the Harley grass. So let's go and see how we can make more Harley grass. There's possibly gears to get today, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there are. I'm sad I never found the black market guy that I could sell things to you, though. Let's harvest that, and then let's see. Oh yeah, I should have been planting that Harley grass the whole entire time. Plant my steam grass ones as well. I spent all my money on. But I'll just put in, I'll just put in some gear flowers. But I used up so much of my Harley grass. And honestly, for the for that steam grass the seed, I oh why do I do this every time? For that steam grass seed, I could have had so many more. Ah. I 
right down we go Oh, I bet, I bet it's night time. I bet I should have gone back to the alley at night. If I was going to be a shady goods dealer, I would want to be in that alley at night time, wouldn't I? Of course I would. I'll give that another go. That might just be it. I was getting confused by all the notes with all the different uh, things on them. All the different... But anyway, let's go and see if there's anything more that we need to do. No, we need to get full full trust from them, which means getting all of the Harley grass. And with that, I think we are going to leave it there because I get the impression that the uh, going forward is going to be a little bit grindy, and that's not what I really want for showing off a demo. So I'm going to gonna cap it there i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more of this uh possibly when it releases then please do subscribe i can let you know when videos are out and hope to see you soon in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome